we're back to our two polarizer setup to investigate optical activity. And when we say something is optically active, that just means that it somehow affects the polarization of light passing through it. The stuff we're looking at today is contained inside this glass cell. And it's just caro syrup. You can buy this in any grocery store. It's basically sugar extracted from corn. And we want to see what it does to this, what happens to the state of polarization of light passing through it. So I've got our, our two polarizers set up and the transmitted beam down at the end. I'm going to set the polarizers so they, they're crossed and our beam is extinguished. There. All right. And then I'm going to insert the cell into the beam and we'll see what happens. And when I do that, we can see, yes, suddenly we have transmitted light coming through it. Now let's see what's happened to the polarization. It goes in vertically polarized and it comes out at some different polarization. So it's at least some of it gets through the cross polarizer over here. So if I rotate the second polarizer, I can see... It looks like the polarization, the, the caro syrup has rotated the plane of polarization about 45 degrees. Well, what happens if I, it, it looks like the, if the light's rotated you know, clockwise, right? Gone from here to there. So what happens if I send the light through it the other way? Does it rotate 45 degrees the other way or not? If I can take it out, I'll get back to our cross condition here, all right? And then I'm just gonna flip the cell around and put it back in. All right, again, we see light coming through. Now, which way has the polarization rotated? And I can see, as I do that, that it looks like it's again rotated at 45 degrees clockwise. 